Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be talking about the possible team with the leader of Decisive Execution Korra Final Form. Now I said I was going to do this video, um, and I don't even know when this is going to go. This is probably going to go out on Friday. So I said this in, in yesterday's video because it was technically Thursday. Today is Thursday. Um, and I want to talk about a possible team with Decisive Execution Korra because of his leader ability. If you guys aren't aware, this is the Old World Tournament card. Uh, if you go over here, it's actually, he, he tokens from Ultimate Transformation Korra. This is on the JP side right now, so Global Guys, if you're watching this, he's not currently available yet. Uh, honestly, he probably won't be available for another, like, six months, most likely, on the Global side. But he was available from the 12th JP World Tournament and the Global 10th World Tournament, and you could still pull him from the guaranteed SSRs. He's going to token like him with seven Master Mark medals. Now, when this guy Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens um, to a pretty actually good leader uh, and a good, you know, decent unit overall. His leader ability is Strength Type, uh, Enemy, Attack, and Defense minus 40%. So this is more for, like, Super Battle Road because you're going up against nothing but uh, Strength Types. So if you have not been able to beat it with a double 17 lead or a double LR Majin Vegeta lead, this might come in handy for you if you run a double Korra lead. It's almost as similar as when you, if you ran... Uh, an, an extreme intelligence Android 13 lead, which he did uh, at the what is it? Uh, technique super type or technique type attack minus 43%. You do a double one of that, it'll take you about two hours if you have decent units to take on the event. Now, this card, <clears throat> when he doken awakens, supreme damage greatly lowers defense. So, if you're running a double lead, it's already 80% down in terms of their defense, greatly lowers defense, makes it even more so. So, you're greatly lowering the 20% of the health uh, defense that they have left. Uh, passive skill complete invasion agility type attack and defense plus 40% so he's a really good agility support unit unfortunately he did not gain any key advantage there which kind of stinks but uh, he also has a high chance to launch up to two additional attacks plus an additional attack plus 5% uh, with each per attack performed up to 50% so uh, the thing is if you're running this <coughs> the battles are going to be long and drawn out so that's actually going to come into play for him now, the problem is, because there is no key in his leader ability, that means you are going to most likely be doing normal attacks majority of the time. We're going to talk about the team building guide on, the, on that aspect in a minute. Um, overall, in this card, Strongest Clan in Space, Brutal Beatdown, Cold Judgment, Nightmare, Big Bad Bosses, Metamorphosis, and Shattering the Limit. Uh, the only two that he has for Link skills are going to be Strongest Clan in Space and Shattering the Limit. Now, honestly, on a team like this, as, as we will discuss, it's, you're not going to run him on your primary rotation. Um, there are other units that you're going to run on primary rotation. But overall, he's not a horrible unit. Also, if you have someone with Metamorphosis for HP recovery of 5%, uh, that is going to come into play. We'll talk about that. I actually didn't look that up, so I'm going to do that in real time with you. Um, also, his SSR form, you can increase the super attack with these guys, with these cores, which you don't need to do. Um, I don't think you should. You, you actually don't need to put him to super attack 10 because he's not doing a lot of damage. Uh, but yeah, you can if you want to. So don't feel, for, don't, don't feel like you don't have to. But uh, yeah, that's the card, and that's his leader ability. Now, um, we're going to go ahead real quick. We're just going to talk about the team building aspect of this. Uh, Dokkan, Dokkan Battle Builder recording over here. Now, these are the units that I have handpicked myself for extreme TUR agility uh, units to run on this team. Now, obviously, I don't have the seventh unit there because the uh, TUR version of this core is not available. He does have Shattering the Limit. None of the other units here have Shattering the Limit, so it doesn't matter. He's going to share the same link skills no matter what I do with them. Um, so this guy is going to be off your primary rotation. Now, this is what I think you should do. Uh, if you're trying to do this, you will have uh, Agility Kid Blue, Kid Boo. Now, remember, he is a, a healer, right? Let's go find him real quick. He does uh, recover 12% HP at the start of the turn. Now, you're not going to have a lot of HP as it is, but you're going to have an 80% debuff on the enemy. So he's going to have that, which is going to be freaking awesome. So you're automatically getting 12% of your HP recovery at the beginning of each battle. Um, then you have... Frieza over here who can tank. Now it kind of sucks in terms of how you're going to run this because ideally you would want your HP to be higher before Frieza comes because once your HP drops below 50%, he's not tanking anything anymore. Obviously it's going to take a while to get to there because you're doing the 80% damage reduction. Most super attacks aren't going to exceed 5 to 8,000. Um, but just keep that in mind that you are going to have low health because of the fact you're not running any type of support lead that's going to increase the buffs or, or buff up your stats. But um, you're not going to have too much to worry about because of the fact that everyone's doing 80% uh, reduction to that damage. Reduction to their damage. Anyway, so yeah, Kid Boo's there for 12% HP recovery. Um, Frieza's there is to tank. So you're going to want to have Frieza how, uh, tank all the hits as he possibly can. Um, on rotation or off rotation, you're going to have this Android 17 over here because Android 17 is uh, agility, key plus two, attack and defense plus 25%. At least for the sake of this team, that's what he's doing. Uh, obviously, the two cores we already talked about is passive. The other side, if you have available, you're going to want to bring Goku Black 
and Turles. Now, obviously, you want to make sure that you have both of these. If you don't have both of these, it's going to make things a little bit more difficult for you. Uh, that's specifically because these two both have support passives with key in them. So, Turles has allies key plus 3, attack plus 40%. Uh, the enemy's super enemies are attack minus 15%, so that means they're going to be doing less damage, <clears throat> which is going to help them tank a little bit better. And then you have uh, Rose, who does key plus 3 at the start of the turn, and he gives himself uh, his own attack buff of 100%. Both of these guys are very, very good units. Um, this guy, I think he does... I think oh, He is just a support unit, but he's a pretty damn good unit overall. So these two are going to give each other at least six key uh, with their passive, and then two more key for prepared for battle. So they're going to have eight key total before starting the turn, which means you only need four key total uh, to get their super attacks off. That's going to make things a little bit more viable for you. Then when 17 is over here, you will have the ability to have two more key, so you only need two key total. Now, if, if he is here, uh, ideally you would want to put Rose in the middle, uh, because with Rose there, Rose is going to get his super attack off right off the bat. Because he's going to share two key with 17. He's going to share two key with uh, Turles. They have the three key passive going on. So that's six key, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then 17's passive, 11, 12 total. So they will have a total of 12 key for Rose to be in the middle. And then you only need two key for Turles and two key for Android 17. That's going to be the biggest benefit to you overall. But what that means, your other rotation is not going to be doing a lot of damage. Now, um, you need, your rotation typically does definitely does need to line up properly for you. Uh, if you've noticed when you do Super Battle Road, they usually super attack every other round. Ideally, you would want to have your Frieza on the round where they do the attacking because you're going to want to have him tanking all the super attack. Uh, I'm not saying the other guys aren't going to be great, but obviously Frieza has that passive of... Um, what, what is his passive again? Damage received by... Uh, reducted down by 90% when HP is 50% or above. So you're definitely going to want to have that taken care of. Um, but yeah, that overall, that's pretty much it with the terms of the team. I mean, there are other extreme units you could run, as you see here. Thing is, like, the 17, you have the Super 17 here. He is damage reduction, so that's going to help out. If you don't have Frieza, obviously, if you don't have Frieza, you're probably going to want to run some, uh, you're going to want to run a damage reduction unit. Uh, you could run Super 17 over here. He's not as good. Damage received by 40% every time he's attacked, but every time he's attacked, he does attack uh, plus 30% up to, uh, up to 120%, but he's not going to have any key. You could run him right next to Android 17 that you see here. It is going to give him two key, 25% uh, attack buff, and a defense of plus 1,000. Um, so he has the two key plus his passive of two key, so that's four key. So you just need to get another eight key total, which is definitely a pain in the butt. Uh, that's if you don't have the Frieza. You can run those two together. These two are pretty much going to be consistently hitting because they at least are going to always have eight key together. You could always still keep on running it a different way with, with 17 off primary rotation, so that way you always get the guaranteed super. But it's not needed. Oh, that's assuming you don't have Frieza. Now, let's go ahead and take Super 17 out, and let's take him out. I still think you're going to always need a Kid Buu in there, and since he's such a freaking common SSR pull now, you could, we'll, we'll just uh, assume that you have him. If you don't, well, I don't think this will be as viable for you. Um, unless you have someone who can link with uh, Kid Buu for infinite regeneration. But even then, it's still not going to be that viable because it's only 3%, and I don't know if anyone has infinite regeneration. Um, we'll have to go take a look really quick. Uh, well, we'll look at that later then. Um, so while well, we're doing the team building over here. Now, we also have LR Majin Vegeta that's available, and you have the LR Androids. Uh, you can throw LR Androids in there, and then you have Super 17 alongside of them. Um, let's see. So LR Androids link for five link skills with 17. Regular 17, that's two, four, six key, uh, and a 20% attack buff. So they're going to have six key plus his passive. So that's eight key. So those are going to be ve do very, very well together. Uh, in terms of getting super attacks off, they're always going to have eight key. So that just means you need four more than these two on the other side. Um, the LRs, if you were there for the actual event uh, to get them up to 100%, they will tank a lot better, especially with the fact that you're doing 80% damage reduction. Super 17, not so much. It's only going to be four key, but he does damage reduction himself. So that could help out, but you'll have more consistent super attacks with the two of these guys together. Uh, Majin Vegeta, um, you're not going to have any real benefit running him because he doesn't have key in his passive. He doesn't have key in his link skills with anyone here. So he's kind of just like throwaway. Like he does a lot of damage, but in order for you to get off super attacks, unless you have a key orb manipulator that you want to run, chances are it's never going to really benefit you. You're going to want to run this like Android 18 uh, that you see over here. Um, that's when this Android 18 is going to come into play, but... Even then, what is she, uh, let's see over here, Android 18, uh, changing the body ball, so she, she changes physical to speed, uh, to agility, I believe, uh, and attack and defense was 70% up, um, yeah, and then when the yeah, HP drops below 70%, um, she changes intelligence to physical, I believe, so, uh, that's gonna help her out with the following rounds, so you'll definitely be able to get it, but, um, you're gonna need her, a Doken Awaken, 
And uh, at that point, I mean, she only links with one for one link skill. Uh, with the LR Androids, which is just a twin for two key, that kind of sucked. And with Android 17, Super 17, it's a 15% attack buff with no key. So honestly, while her keyword manipulation can be good, you might want to throw her on there as support. But maybe that's about it. I mean, at that point, it would probably be minus Kid Buu, minus Super 17, the two Koras, um, and then Android 18 for key orb manipulation. And that'll probably be another good setup for you. You're just not going to have the HP regeneration or the uh, the, the damage reduction um, as much just because the LR Androids are, even though they could tank a little bit better, uh, they're not going to do that. They're not going to be able to do too much. And remember, they're only attack plus 15,000. So uh, it's not percentage based. And without the huge buffs that they're getting, they're not going to be clearing the like million that they typically do. But yeah, that's just that. Um, I don't think that there are other decent units you can you can actually pair. Let me switch back over to my Chrome record view. Um, there are other units here. These are all the TURs, by the way, that are currently available for extreme agility. As you see, you don't have a lot of choices. Um, you have this core over here, but he just does a flat-out 7,500 buff to attack and defense. Baby is the same damn thing. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I would love to have better units coming in the future for this, but as of right now, we don't have anyone else who could possibly run on this team. But those are going to be the two teams that I think that are pretty good for this. It's going to be this setup, or it's going to be the Kid Buu with Frieza. But uh, again, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you going to be running this team for Super Battle Road? Uh, if you guys have any other recommendations, please let me know. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace out.